Welcome back guys to another episode of Get That Smoke and yo it's your boy Jimmy I'm here with another video you should already know what it is from the title of the video so yeah we're gonna be reacting to some weird foods um i haven't really ventured out into this world too much i haven't actually left this island that i've spent my whole 23 years on so far on this world on this planet on this bloody hellhole oh no <laughs> i'm joking but yeah so i thought i'd go on a bit of a virtual adventure and look at what kind of foods the world has to offer and yeah well, it's not really that exciting. It's just a reaction video of me looking at weird foods. But you can join me on this and have a little look yourself and let me know if there's anything that you would potentially try or if there's anything that you actually have tried on your adventures in the world. But yeah, 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 let's get into it. Sometimes we feel like eating something new and different, yeah. something we never tasted Gotta before. Switch it up in at some times. parts of the world, food looks very strange and hardly edible. But the people who cook it won't agree with you. you know, Perhaps some chief enthusiasts sometimes get carried away in their cooking experiments. You know, All right, today we're gonna have a look at <laughs> ten weirdest foods from around the globe. Let's get into it. Rocky Mountain oysters. These okay. are not actually oysters. Yeah, they look alright. It's, it's the name dirty. of a dish which main ingredients Easy are in bull's fact. testicles. Wait, they serve what? one of Canada's Is favorite dishes testicles? in Calgary in a joint okay, called Buzzards. They even make them <laughs> deep fried or stuffed. Many Yo, Canadians are very fond of Rocky nowadays. Mountain oysters. They say it's a delicacy of a Texan cuisine. It's delicacy. Yeah, there's a very Yo, strange mad. habit that emerged from the streets of Cambodia. It isn't exactly a dish we're talking what here. These are actual worms. They live in those underwater trees. Worms Locals simply like take those worms. worms and eat them like the chips. I certainly talks? wouldn't try, but, but these guys way. seem to love it. Hoggies aren't just diapers, but it's also a Scottish national huh? dish. It's a popular food that was praised by Robert Burns back in Middle Ages. What goes what in that? haggis, however, makes you think twice before you try it. So there's a heart, a liver, lungs, all mixed up with onions, grits, and spices. So Scots have a custom of eating haggis on Robert Burns' birthday. And of course, they don't forget to drink some of that all yeah, Scottish whiskey for the old man's sake. Also, you can buy haggis in yeah, almost so. any supermarket. Turns out it's a healthy product and got all sorts of benefits to it. Yeah, Next on the shit. list is a delicacy <laughs> adored in South Korea. It's called San Nek Ji yeah, it and it's be, primarily made of octopus tentacles. The weirdest part is that when San Nek Ji is served, you can still see the tentacles I moving around videos in a spasmodic on Instagram sort of off. way. And that's because octopuses are usually killed and cut before they're being served. You gotta be careful eating this thing, because if that. it's freshly killed, the tentacles can reach out to you from the plate and try to strangle you before you, you finish your meal. <laughs> Escamoles <laughs> look like a red regular cereal Imagine salad. If you in try reality, to however, you from your its plate. main ingredient are <laughs> ants larvae. It's a popular Mexican delicacy also known as the ant puree. The dish originates from the Aztec period. Pretty damn old recipe. Gathered from the roots of the tequila agave, what? escamoles has a distinctive taste similar to the taste of fried nuts. Hakal is Iceland's national dish. It's a dry, fermented shark that is prepared over a course of five months. The thing about the Greenland What's shark that? is that you oh. can't eat it straight away because it's got poisonous flesh. So when it decomposes, it becomes edible. Locals say that usually why when people try Hakal for the first time, like they feel like flesh? they're gonna vomit. Which is why it is strongly recommended that you supplement the dish with a couple of strong shots. Most people Why are addicted are to fast it, food, but not many of us are used to this son of a bitch sandwich right Yo, here. This sandwich me. got calf hey. and pig brains in it. Now, oh, after okay. the brain yeah, is accurately that. removed <laughs> from an animal, it is pounded and fried very deep. Then goes a little brains. mustard nah. and some pickled onions. Nah. Then they put it on a bun and enjoy the soft taste Stop of an right animal there, brain. There isn't anything <laughs> more sophisticated than Italian kitchen, is there? Oh yes, there is. The casu marzu cheese. The name okay, literally means cheese. rotten cheese. And rotten it's rotten cheese. all right. In fact, it's got many, many <sighs> cheese fly larvae inside of it. <laughs> when you eat casu marzu, be aware that the maggots can jump on your face mm -hmm. while you eat. That's why Italians usually prepare to protect their eyes. Why Interestingly, casu marzu was banned at some point in history when it was proved that this kind of cheese can be healthy and that it's bad for your digestion system. In 2010, however, they legalized it again. 
some dishes instead of giving you oral mm, pleasure that can actually kill you. I'm talking about the fugu fish, of course. There's enough poison in this little baby to kill 30 men. Only highly qualified chiefs are allowed to cook well, that's fugu. It's so throw dangerous. It back in the One ocean. mistake throughout the cooking process, and whoever eats the meal are in great danger. Yeah, I bet. Many people are afraid of spiders, but how about eating spiders? Nah, in I'm Cambodia, good. for example, they really like Fran tarantulas. The Zabbat was acquired Fran during the what did I say at the start? Regime, people will fry the time when there was nothing to eat at all. Since then, people got used to tarantulas and now eat them almost every day. You know, if there was nothing else to eat, then why not in it? Like, that was their survival at the time, and they're just used to it. That problem probably makes the most sense. Well, that was the end of the video. What have I learned on this adventure of the world's finest food delicacies is people are weird and they'll try anything and they'll fry anything from bulls testicles to spiders. And the only thing I did with spiders as a child was pluck their little legs off. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have said that, actually. Yeah, people are a bit soft nowadays and a bit thin-skinned, but, you know, you can't really get on to me if people are out here frying them, so grow up. But, um, yeah, let me know in the comment section below if there's anything you have tried or would potentially have tried or even like to have tried, you know, like that brain sandwich looked okay on first glance. But, yeah, I've been your boy Jimmy. This has been Get That Smoke. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Till next time.